Last time, our heroes had discovered treacle in the mines below Sabden. They had also discovered that they couldn't get out, but thanks to the professor, two old mine carts and a sack full of bubbles, they are now free. And everybody is back in business. Well, almost everybody. Hello, Wizzle. Enjoying the holidays? Oh, yeah. Great to be out of school. We can do anything we like. For weeks and weeks. Smashing. I mean, like, what won't we do, eh? What won't we do? Yeah. Yeah. Wizzle? Yeah? What will we do? Well, we'll, um, do we could, um... It's not fair. We found the treacle for them and all of a sudden it's, Sorry, Rosie, there's nothing for you to do. Huh. I don't want to hang around like the last pig who wore us in the jar. I want a job. They won't give us a job. I can just imagine going up to the mill and saying, Can you give us a job for the holidays, Mr Mitten? Hey. Silas Mitten. Hey, yeah. Uncle Silas owns the mill. And the mine. And the ginger beer plant. He's bound to give us a job. Come on. <coughs> did you hear something just then? Yeah. It was you saying, did you hear something? No. There's something in that field. Yeah. It's a moo bark. I noticed it right away on account of it being, you know, about five foot long and barking its head off. No, it's not a moo bark. It's that little boggart from down the mine. Oh, no. Not him again. I think he likes you. Do you think he wants to come with us? Well, all right, if you behave. Come on in, boggart. We're going to get a holiday job. There you are, old loveliest Lillian. Solid as the Rock of Cashel. Funny that. <laughs> Smells like treacle. Well, there are certain novelties in its structure. Such as? It's a revolutionary new building material, waterproof, windproof and bulletproof. Whatever is it? And locally available at extremely low cost. But what is it? It's your last batch of parking. What? Just you wait till I get my hands up. <coughs> Afternoon, Tapper. Usual ginger beer. No. No treacle-based produce of any description whatsoever. I'm fed up with treacle. I'm soaked in treacle. I've got treacle in me hair, in me boot, up me nose. If I don't see a drop of treacle this side of the low Lumbutz bicycle juggling fair, I'll be a happy chappy. Treacle butty? No. With that new treacle seam, I'm, I'm doing the work of four men, two chairs and half a moobark. What I need is help. I'm rushed off me feet out there. If I don't get more hands soon, I'll go crackers. Look, Brendan, could you... Sorry, Tapper, but I find me diary crammed to bursting for the foreseeable future. Hmm. Any chance of borrowing Charlie for a bit, Lil? Of course there is. I'll send him over as soon as he's finished here. Charlie, when you finish back there, go and give Tapper a hand at mill. Oh. Slacker. And after the rocks have been crushed and melted, the refined treacle flows out into the storage vat, which is where you two will be working. Oh, cool. No. The treacle has to be maintained at a constant 98.4, otherwise you get nodules. Oh, I didn't mean... He means thank you very much, Uncle Silas. Then why didn't he say so? I did. Oh, yes, right. Now then, here's your job for today. This is a sample scoop. You take it up to the top of the vat. Every ten minutes, take a scoop of treacle and put it in a sample jar. Take the jar to the professor so he can check the quality. Get it? Got it. Good. Excuse me, you, you want me to climb all the way up there? Do you want this job or not? Um. well, now I look, it's not very tall for the height of it, is it? Mm, I knew you would see it my way. Now, have we talked about paying you? No. no. Good. Right. I'd better be off. And you had better be careful. Well, let's get going. All the way up there? Why not? I'm afraid of heights, man. Whistle, you're afraid of heights, depths, confined spaces, open spaces and the dark. I've always wanted to know, is there anything you're not afraid of? Um, I'm quite good with parking. Oh, get up there. <laughs> 
Anybody there? Never fear, Pendle's here. Keep cheerful, don't be afraid of the dark and the cold and the funny noises. Um, mm, Tapper. Rosie? Prof? Anyone? Hello? Hey, Rosie? First sample coming up. Great! One sample jar coming up. You know, it's like not as bad as I thought here. Told you. Yeah. I mean, I'm so scared of, like, falling in the tree call, I haven't got time to be afraid of heights. Oh, wizard, here's the job. <laughs> this is not good. How do we take samples without a sample thingy? Yeah. And how do we tell your uncle we brought a treacle-eating bogger into a treacle mill? We don't. Ah, who's there? Tapper, is that you? Hang on, I'm coming. Pendle's Rescue Express is just around the corner. Whoa. So, I'll go out to the middle of the vat with a spoon. You stand on this end so I don't fall in. Get it? Yeah, I'm just glad it's you crawling out there. Let's get on with it before Uncle Silas comes back. Told you it'd work. Just hang on while I get the sample. Oh, no! Rosie, the bogger's picking out on a load of pit props. I'd better go and stop him. OK, Wizzle. Wizzle, you are still standing on the end of the... Wizzle? Oh, dear. <laughs> And it's all had to be refiltered. 36,000 litres of treacle. Sorry, Mr Mitten. Pardon? Oh, I give up. I'm starting to think... Hello? Oh, hello, Brendan. Yes, we're shorthanded everywhere. I just haven't got any... Oh, hang on. You can have a couple of helpers right away. Bye. Oh, get off! Right, you too. Last chance. Brendan needs help with the ginger beer bottling plant, and you're volunteered. Oh, we could go and give Brendan a hand at the ginger beer plant. And you might hear better if you got the treacle out of your ears. Oh, sorry, Uncle Silas. Maybe if I got the treacle out of my ears, I could... <sighs> g -g 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 Whatever's the matter? G -g 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 I think he's been traumatised. No, he's just had a shock, poor love. Ghost! I know what'll fix him. Charlie, they're parking. Um, yeah, hang about. I feel better already. It's a miracle. Madam, lay down your confectionery or I shall charge you with assaulting an officer. What were you doing down the mine? I was rescuing Tapper and the Prof and those two youngsters, that's what. Risking life, limb and horrible Lena's ghost to do so. They've been out for a week, Nico. Ah, well, precisely. Another successful case for Pendle of the Yard. <sighs> well, this is a bit more like it. Yeah, nice and clean. Nice and safe. Ground level. Nothing can go wrong, even with him about. <laughs> Don't, Don't move! move. <laughs> hey, Rosie, we're out of labels. Give me a hand to fetch some, will you? OK. <laughs> oh, no! How do you stop this thing? No idea! Oh, no! Now where's he off to? Right. Well, I have crime to fight, so if you'll excuse me, I must get out there and... Ah! Oh, another of those ghost things. Right. This time I'll have him. Stand back! It's all running backwards, Brendan. And look at that dial. Oh, my lasses! If the tank keeps up with feeling like that, it'll blow! Everybody out! <laughs> Nico, will you get out of there? Never! Ah! I shall apprehend that miscreant ghost if it's the last thing I do. You're in terrible danger. Take cover! Have you paid for that ginger beer? How dare you? Thought not. I don't know. Turn me back for a minute. What on yeah, earth yeah. is that thing? You two get over here. Yes, yes Uncle, Uncle Silas. Silas. You're fired. Sorry, Sorry Uncle, Uncle Silas. Silas. What further treacle-stained terrors will the boggart inflict on the village? Have Rosie and Wizzle finally come unstuck? Find out in the next syrupy instalment of The Treacle People. We are the Treacle People, we see treacle I am low. We are the Treacle People, we all live in Giggle Row. Will the whistle say?